Semper is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also WrestlingObserver.com. Everyday Sports Byline Broadcasting. Twitch.tv slash F4W Video. The mightier 1090 AM across all of SoCal. We got a lot to get into here today. Super Tuesday edition of NXT, which featured the cliffhanger. Actually, it was the follow-up to the cliffhanger. Finn Balor versus Adam Cole, vacant NXT title. 838,000 viewers down 1.3% from last week. 15th on cable in 18 to 49, which is a .22 rating. So in 18 to 49, they were down 15.4% from last week, unopposed. There were NBA playoff games, but there were the week before as well, if I recall correctly. That was down from last week. The viewership was NXT's third highest of 2020. In the demos, women 18 to 49 down 21 percent, men 18 to 49 down 12 percent, people 18 to 34 down 36 percent, females 12 to 34 down 45 percent, males 12 to 34 down 22 percent, people 25 to 54 down 6.7 percent, and the reason that the numbers uh, we're close to next week, the overall, is because people over 50 were up 7.5%. So, the moral of this story is, whatever everybody wanted to argue about going to a draw in an Iron Man match and holding it off for another week, there was exactly one age group that grew as a result of that finish. And it was people over 50, which is... And God bless everybody over 50, I'm almost there. But that's that's the worst demo if you want to sell ads. Every single other demo was down. So that tells me that whatever you want to think of that idea, that was not a great idea. You do a cliffhanger and you promise a, a new champion, you don't deliver, and you say, but, but next week we're going to give you the new champion. Well, as we can see here, a lot of those people, they either didn't buy it or they didn't care after that. Because these demos, I mean, people 18 to 34 down 36%. That is a big drop. And the females 12 to 34, which normally they don't get, but they had some the week prior, down 45, almost 50% they were down. So that's that. And before we get Mike's thoughts, here's a quick look at Raw. 1.73 million viewers. The lowest for the show since they began the Thunderdome. Obviously, there was sports competition, but dude, you want sports competition? Wait till next Monday. Raw was down 9% overall, 17% 18-49, to 30% 18-34. to 34. 17th overall, which is a little better than usual. But the first to third hour drop, 8%. Women 18-49. to 49. Raw actually was higher in hour three than hour two. Uh, males 18 to 49, however, down 14%. Teenage girls down, teenage boys down. Over 50 was down, which is hard to believe. Third hour, or the three hours, 1.67 million. First hour, it did grow in the second to 1.80 million. But then third hour, big drop to 1.61 million. So, Thunderdome helped draw for a while, but, I mean, they're in big trouble now with football debuting next Monday. And those NXT numbers are fine. I mean, it's way better going unopposed on a Tuesday. But I think we've learned a lesson about promising a new champion and not delivering. Well, that that's true. But I, I think you, you just mentioned it. That's the biggest thing to me is imagine if they would have been on Wednesday, what would have happened with AEW coming off the pay-per-view. And uh, we'll see what AEW's number is is and see if the uh, pay-per-view and the show they did last week was enough to keep people enticed. Um, they should stay on Tuesday. They're not going to, but that, you know, this is a great example as to why, um, you know, without any competition. And Raw, speaking of competition, Raw on Monday is going to be, I don't know if they're facing all four major sports, but, you know, the NFL would be enough. And I guess the only thing that they have going for them is, Last year at this time, they went up against the NFL, and 
it was 2.36 million in hour one, 2.18 in hour two, and 1.84 in hour three. Well, they're already down now to 1718 and 16. So if there's any silver lining possible in this, is you've already atrophied down to the point where you are at your hardest of hardcore. So maybe this NFL uh, assault that you take every year really, you know, statistically won't be as bad since you're already down to the nubs as it is all right we've also got i guess that was actually all of it uh there was the big debut of the best man we had a prediction at the end of the show that it would be the son of of mr perfect who's who's better than perfect maybe a son but no in fact it was miro miroslav barnyashev is all elite he is kip sabian's best man and he cut a promo about brass rings and glass ceilings and then announced that he was all elite. So we'll see how he does in an AEW. We've only seen one promo. I presume he'll be wrestling pretty soon. Thank you, Mike. All right, Gerald Briscoe. <laughs> what kind of what kind of open-ended thought is that? I think we'll be What do you him think about Rusev on sure. AEW? Well, I mean, but you didn't really give your thoughts on it too much. I haven't there. seen anything except was, a promo. I thought it was a. <laughs> so you want me to give your thoughts on it? I thought it was actually relatively flat, and I don't want to get yelled at by him. Hopefully, Dave is still put in, you know, much worse regard than I am for saying this. But I just thought it was one of those, I don't want to say generic ex WWE promos where, hey, brass ring, glass ceiling, all that stuff. Okay. I'm done now. I don't want to hear anything about you and WWE anymore. Now all I want to hear about is how much ass you're going to kick or how handsome you're going to be or whatever it's going to be on AEW. That's all I care about now. And I think the faster, and this is nothing against Kip Sabian, but we complained about Rusev not having the opportunities in the upper tier in WWE. You know, we saw it with Cena. We saw flashes of this guy. And it's like, hey, you could do more with this guy. Look at him with Kip Sabian right now, Penelope Ford. You already know, at least me, I know this guy can do more than what he's doing right now, and I think the faster you get him away from this whole situation, maybe the better it is. Now, I'm willing to sit back and wait because, you know, we got to see what the plan is. They're obviously bringing him in in this role for a reason, but what is it going to be? So hopefully the story plays itself out really well, and he's ascended to a higher tier as fast as possible. 